Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Donna Gray. I'm a Stamping Up demonstrator from the Northern Rivers area in New South Wales, Australia. I'm the owner and the creator of Stamping with Donna G. Just wanted to bring you uh, a tip today on how to mount your cling mount stamps. So we now have, as starting from our occasions catalogue, our red rubber stamps, our clear mount stamps, are now going to be called cling mount stamps. So that means they're the red rubber stamps with the foam on the back, but instead of um, the stickers that we used to have that had we had trouble with them falling off our blocks, we now have brand new sticky stickers that you have no trouble with them falling off your blocks whatsoever. They stick and they stay sticky for ever so long. So what I wanted to do today is show you what you do when you get a brand new stamp set. So this is the Humming Along stamp set. It's new in our occasions catalogue. As you can see at the top it says Cling stamp set. So they're the new types of stamp sets. So when you get your stamp set, sorry I have my framelits in here too, when you get your stamp set you will get your Cling stamps, the red rubber stamps, plus you will get your sheet of stickers that show you the stickers to pop on the back. So I'm just going to show you how to mount your stamps and it's really super, super easy. So please don't think that it's too hard. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to keep using my red rubber stamps without the sticker on the back because it's so nice to be able to see the sticker on the back. As you can see, this is like a stamp that you're stamping but you have no idea when you're looking through your clear block, you have no idea really where the stamp is. You've got a rough idea by the outside shape but you have no idea. And I can tell you when it comes to stamping word stamps and things, it is fantastic to have these cling mount stamps. So as you can see on this, there is a half division here that we can pull the backing off our sticker. So what I suggest is pull the half one off and then what you do is you have to get yourself right above where that's actually going to um, go on the stamp and you line your stamp up. So you've got one half that you're lining up. So you line that up so it's perfect like so and push it down. Then what you do is you just flick the other side of your sticker off and then stick it down, okay? And then when you peel that off, bingo, you have your sticker on the back of your stamp. So I'm just going to do that with all of the stamps here, just showing you how easy it is to do that. So now we have our bird stamp here. So I'm going to get him out, pull the backing off. You have a paper backing that's on. Line him up on there. Get right over the top. Make sure you're lining him up nice and straight right over the top. Stick him down. And then, as I said, flip it over like that. Pull the other side. Now you can pull both sides of your sticker off, the backing off the sticker. But if for some reason you're, you're having a hard time lining it up and you put it on crooked, you get one go at it. So the idea is, the reason why they have the half, half um, backing is so that you can actually line that up quite easily. You could even, with this leaf, we could even line it up on the remainder of the stamp properly first that we can move it around if we want to. And really make sure we line that up nicely that it's going to sit straight over the top. Okay, and then once again, flick it back, peel that off, and then pop it on. And instantly you have your sticker on the back, okay? And another trick too, um, when you put these on your blocks, you will find that they are super, super sticky on your blocks. So the next problem is if you leave them on your blocks, they can tend to stick onto your blocks quite hard. So you only need to use our take your pick tool if you like because these are so sticky that you can, um, if you just pull them up and don't take much care, you can um, easily rip the foam on the back of your stamp set because the, the actual sticker is so strong. So you just got to be careful with that, that you don't do that. Um, but get the edge of your pokey tool in underneath and, um, and you can just flick up the edge of the sticker. Okay, so I've got one more to go after this one. 
So simple thing, as I said, you stick on half, you get that one stuck on, pop it back on. And the last one is this one. Okay. Uh, that way there. So you just line it up over the top once again. It's lined up perfectly. Stick it down, flip up that side, and stick it down. Now, instead of some people are sticking them in here in their in the inside of their case, but then sometimes you have a bit of a hard time. Like I didn't stick that down real hard, but sometimes you have a hard time picking that up and you may see here you can see maybe that there's a bit of overlay you can trim that with your scissors if your sticker is a little bit um, overhanging on your stamp but I actually keep this sheet in place you could actually stick it into your stamp set if you wanted to put some double-sided tape on the other side and I actually leave them in there like so so that when I go to take them off pulling them off this sheet is so super super easy compared to pulling them off the inside of your case. So I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that has helped you um, put away your fear of mounting those stickers on the back. And I just want to show when we pop them on a block, this is a super, super large block for this, but when I pop them on the block, there is no falling off that block whatsoever, and they are quite sticky, okay? So quite sticky on those blocks. And they will stay sticky like that. Honestly, I've been using them time and time again, and they have stayed sticky as the day that I get them. So um, it's a super, super new invention. So all of the Occasions catalogue, any of the red rubber stamps that are in our Occasions catalogue are all in the new cling stamp. And when our annual catalogue comes out, our brand new uh, um, catalogue comes out in June, all of the red rubber stamps will be turned into cling mount. They are discontinuing our wood mount stamps. So if you're a wood mount girl, I'm afraid to say, or a wood mount boy, I'm afraid to say they are going. They are keeping some of the wood mounts. I think some of the background stamps they're going to keep until they've sold out. But um, the wood mount will be going because it's all getting replaced with the cling mount. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully I've helped you um, with mounting your stickers on the back of your cling mount stamp set. And once again, all of the items that I've used, I can be purchased through my online store. All you need to do is go to www.donnagray, spelt with an A, dot stamping up, dot net and that you will find my shopping page also down in the information box down below i have the links to my business page my facebook page you can follow me over on facebook i do live videos over there if this is the first time you've watched my youtube channel please feel free to hit the subscribe button and don't forget the little bell notification just down over um, on the right hand side just underneath this video you'll see a little picture of a bell if you click on that bell you will get notified every time i upload a video to my channel so thank you once again this is donna gray stamping up demonstrator from the northern rivers area in new south wales australia if you were looking for somebody to purchase your stamping up products through i would really appreciate your business so thank you all for watching and until next time have a great day bye